Hey love bucks, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes you send me each and every day. You opening up your lives to me, tell me how your gift has impacted you and, you know, in a negative way it brought you out to a positive impact or are you going towards a positive impact and for that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video. Or you're just telling me about the positive, I mean the positive. About basically your positive story that has put you in a negative impact and brought you into a positive light. So about you basically, if just, you know, tell me about your empathic gift. <laughs> so if you felt like the video has been informative to you or just put you in a good place or gave you good vibes, go ahead and pass it on to the next person you think they might need to hear it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. And, you know, thank you for stopping by my channel today and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to Soothe Music for body mind and spirit music for insomnia sleep instrumental for three hours and i'll post that link in the description box below it is very let me turn it up a little bit so you can hear it um today my video is, i mean my um yeah my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas when darkness comes towards your light when darkness comes towards your light you know when we're on a positive path and you know that you are something special and it's not about being condescending or conceited or just arrogant um what you've been chosen for is very special very very special and when you are opening your lives up and opening your mind up to many possibilities in the world and you're embracing your gift darkness will follow anytime you push out any positive impact towards the world negative will follow negative will attract because they see that strength in you they see that light in you and they'll try to destroy it in any way possible they will send people in your lives it'll be disguised the wolf in sheep's clothing you know and people it could be close to you that you you know assume that you know they were good friends with you or you know good family members they have turned your back you know, and it, it was just like, you know, I, I did a lot of reading up on it. And I've heard a lot of people say the same thing, especially when they, many millenniums ago, they knew about you before you even got here. They knew what kind of gift that, that was about to be instilled in you. And they already knew. They were patiently waiting. <laughs> patiently waiting for you to be on this earth. So they were built to destroy you. Because they couldn't allow you to bring that positive impact into the world. They were hoping you did not get on that awakening or that kundalini or that ascension. For you to know who you truly are. They didn't want you to embrace what you have. They didn't want you to find that comfort or confidence or strength within yourself. To know that you can overcome anything that you has ever been put in your, in your path. So you have to pay attention to those signs. Know that you were made of something very great. And even though you might not be able to see it, that light at the end of the tunnel, or even a silver lining in that cloud, know it is there. It is truly there. Because I mean, a lot of us were like, oh, we're alone. Nobody cares about us. You know, God's punishing us. No, we all have to go through tests. We all do. You know, we, we can sit up here and say we're strong about this. We're not going to let anybody be thrown in our past. We get tested every single day. It's like we're in school. <laughs> when we are graduated and went and got our MBA and all this stuff, whatever, you are still in school, in the school of life. 
So you need to learn, take up that extracurricular activities, you know, learn more about it, get that extra credit and knowledge about yourself. Know when things are getting placed in your path, knowing that you have that strength to surpass whatever has been thrown at you. Have that patience and faith in the universe that know that they're not going to let you stand alone. And know that you don't have to do this on your own either. But you have to see that light that you you have that torch to carry on to the next person to be that impact, that positive light in somebody else's life or the impact on the world. You never know what you, you're, you're capable of doing until you can impress your own self on doing it. You know, we, we get scared of the measurements on how we have to do things sometimes, the levels, the, the sacrifices the you know just the mountains that we have to take sometimes we'll give up really quick before that because we don't feel like we have that that energy or we're not that person that can be able to excel these things and it's just like you never know what you're capable of doing until you actually push yourself to doing it and you know it's just like you know when we try to say oh well we won't go through this we won't go through that you can't never and I have to I'm fault for that too you never can't say with what you're not going to go through or what you will be able to overcome until you actually been through that experience so learn off of your mistakes learn off of your mishaps and learn off of the love and the care and the things that you have you know you don't, just don't use your negative impact to get you through you also use that positive too so I hope you are able to get something out of this video. And I hope you are able to have a blessed weekend. The weekend is over so quick. I wish you could just like pause for the cause. <laughs> just leave it for the weekend just for like another 24 hours. And you know, just, you know, having that click button. Like, dang, you know, especially with people they have off during the weekend. I know you were like, dang, can we just pause it for a minute? I'm not even ready to go back to work yet. But I hope you had a relaxing weekend. Um, I hope you were able to experience some joy over the weekend. Or, you know, if you haven't been able to relax, I hope you were able to unwind. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You know, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Even give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. Pass it on to somebody else who think that they might be able to hear, need to hear this message as, as well. Um, you know... Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you as much as you, you, you know, you hear from me. And I will see you in my next video. Know that you are blessed and highly favored and you are truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you in my next video. Peace. Be wild.